Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what should I do if I know that I have a warrant? The bottom line with warrants is that they suck. Well, that and that they oftentimes end up in your untimely and inconvenient incarceration. So when it comes to the subject of warrants, anyone anywhere who has knowledge of the existence of a warrant with their name on it has two choices. Either they can deal with it proactively in an offensive manner, or they can live day to day waiting until it's ultimately served and then play catch up. In some ways, warrants can be likened to cancer. For instance, if you have either, then you've got a serious problem. In both cases, you can choose to deal with it and hope for the best, or you can sit and wait for the problem to deal with you in its own time. In the case of a warrant, if you choose to act, then it may or may not work out for you. But either way, both the state and the judge are going to have to acknowledge you voluntarily chose to bring the matter to them. That is an undeniable fact that even an inexperienced lawyer should be able to use to your advantage in your case. But if you choose not to act, then just like with cancer, the longer you wait, whether in denial, self-pity, or simply because you're lost in hope, desperation, and prayer that it's going to heal itself or go away, the more time that your warrant has to metastasize and to destroy you from within. Right, wrong, or indifferent, your warrant is a veritable cancer. It is sure to prejudice you, whether with the court, the state, or both, sometime down the legal pike. You may have defenses to your charges, I don't know, but what I do know is that you got to discuss the matter with a skilled and experienced criminal defense lawyer, ASAP. I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, subscribe. We'll be putting out more later.